Okay, but see, what am I having? Am I having curried noodles with homemade lentil tofu? So, let me taste it first, see what it tastes like, and I'll tell you how I made it. Mmm. Mmm. Curried noodles, a bit of sweet chili, and homemade lentil tofu. So, I'm going to tell you how I made this while I'm eating it. You can make a tofu equivalent of the many beans and pulses. To make this one, what you have to do is get your lentils. I blended them in the liquidizer with some water. And then after I blended them, I cooked them. As you stir it, it gets thick because all the starch releases into the water. As it heats, it thickens, gelatinizes, gelatinization, thickens up. And the more you, the more you heat it, the thicker it gets. It ends up something like a very, very thick custard, if you ever use a custard powder. After that, stick it in the fridge to set. Now, when I did the first time, I didn't realize how much, how quickly it would thicken up. So it thickened up and I thought it was, it was finished thickening. And then I did enough liquid, let it set. When it came out of the fridge the following day, it was set, but it's still quite soft. It wasn't a, a tofu kind of consistency. So what I did, mmm. Mmm. Quite nice. What I did, I thought, okay, this, this, hasn't, this dish hasn't worked. I saw it on YouTube and I thought I'd give it a try. Not worked, fair enough. <clears throat> nothing mentioned, nothing gained. I'm still gonna use it. So what I did, I got some onions and spices and seasonings and and um, turmeric and curry powder, etc. And I thought, I'll turn this, turn the lentils into a, a, like a curry. So and then I seasoned it up and I thought I'd make a curry out of it. But it was, but because I'd blended the lentils, they were really fine, almost like flour. So they made like a thick paste and not really something you'd have as a curry at all. The texture was all wrong. So what I did then, I thought, okay, I'm just thinking, one way or another, I'm going to eat this. I'm never going to waste this. So I've seasoned it up. So the taste is really, really good. But now it looks like the consistency of porridge, which is a bit weird. So after that, I thought, okay. What I did, I spread it out thin on a baking tray. And I baked it in the oven uh, on a low heat for about an hour. Maybe a little more. What does it took out, took out most of the liquid, evaporated it down. And it made it, made it go really, really firm. Still in the fridge, I thought, I'll make something out of it the following day. Following day comes now, it's really firm, really full of flavour. So I thought, do you know what? I use it like regular tofu now because now, now I baked it, it has got the regular tofu consistency. So, and then cook some noodles, and put this in a frying, put the tofu in a frying pan, toss them around, put the noodles in the frying pan, add a bit of sweet chilli and, mmm, really very tasty indeed. Now normally we get tofu, it's not using much flavour in it because you have to put the flavour in yourself. But doing it this way, the flavour's really embedded into it. It's really, really rich. Consistency-wise, quite smooth. Got a nice bit of bite in it. If I wanted it um, chewier, I'd probably bake it in the oven for longer so it became firmer. But it's quite a nice firm consistency. Somewhere between um, the, the smooth and the more porous tofu that you can get. Ooh. It's just interesting to think you can get something like that from lentils because, you heard why, you can get a big packet of lentils for almost nothing. A pound, two pound. From that big packet of lentils, theoretically, you can make loads of tofu. Tofu costs about two pound fifty or so per little block like that. The amount of lentils you can get out of a packet of lentils, if you them down, you could probably have 10 times the amount of tofu for that. So that's, economically, that's, that's a really good idea. So now I know how to do that. Uh, I know you can probably take that same principle and apply it to almost any bean at all. Get the beans, soak them overnight, blend them in a liquidizer, cook them, starch released, leave them overnight, they thicken. Next day, you've got something which resembles the consistency of tofu, then you can use it however you want. You can bake it to make it firmer, you can fry it, you can scramble it, anything you like. So for me, despite the start, I was a bit fed up, not fed up, I was a bit like, oh, it's not worth this. 
Actually, I learned quite a lot about how to do it. And I've got, in the end, quite a nice result. Mm. Winner, winner, vegan chicken dinner.